Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is Sangam Adhikari and today we're going to be looking at how to upload your self-made HTML files or self-made website in Microsoft Azure. So I assume you have already subscribed to Microsoft Azure and you can use features like uh, app services and web app. So yes, Microsoft Azure can help you install WordPress, you can use Joomla to create your website, but what if you wanted your own HTML files, right? So this is what I've created using the template from HTML5up.net. So this is what I want to upload into the Microsoft Azure. And yes, I'm a big fan of Manchester United too. So yes, this is what I'm going to upload onto the web app. So the first thing you have to do is click new then use the option called WordPress mobile the next thing of course you are gonna click on is web app since we are going to create a web app and the app name is anything you can use so that you can redirect so you can use to browse the site later so I'm gonna use Amazon UTD Man United so the subscription is always dream spark and I'm going to use the new resource and call it an TD. So if you want to print to the dashboard, click on print to dashboard. So I think this is already created. So I'm um, in VTD1 and click on create. So this is gonna take some time. The application is going to be deployed you can see everything from the notification here so it, it is going to take some time to deploy the application so yes the deployment has succeeded and you can see the screen this so if you click on the URL you're going to see the default uh, Azure website as DML that's it your website is up fine and running so this is what you're gonna see for the first time this web app has been successfully created there's nothing here here a plot microsoft Azure makes it simple to publish content with git ftp visual studio visual studio online or web matrix so these are the programs that you can use to upload files to your azure right so i'm going to use ftp because this is easy for me and i'm used to to the ftp so i'm going to use an application called FileZilla. FileZilla is available freely to download on file heap. Don't worry about the link, I'll put them in the description below. So the next thing is you need to download FileZilla from file heap. So install it and I'm gonna show you later how to configure it. So go to the Microsoft Azure site. So go to this site and click on deployment credentials. So the first thing you are going to do is change the default deployment credential. So I'm going to change the whole thing here. So click on save. So yes, I have successfully reset the deployment credential. Now just now close this window and this one too. And what you need to do is focus on this. Now I have said to download um, FileZilla because you know you can use any FTP client, but FileZilla is the one that I love. So open FileZilla. So you're going to use the things like hostname, username, password. So the first thing is the hostname, right? So this is the hostname. This, this hover over the hostname and you can see here, click to copy. Just click on it and it is automatically copied. Go to the FileZilla test it here the username is what you created so let me see the username so the username is united slash united 11 copy this again 
and paste it here in the username and the password will be that do you that one that you changed the last time so click on quick connect so yes click on ok you can see the messages yes I'm in I'm in into the I'm in into my FTP so this is what you're gonna see so log files inside so we're gonna be working on site because we are uploading HTML sites right click on it now you see www root click on it again and so you, now you see host things so it is anyway you want to see this hostings and this is this thing that you are seeing so this is the this HTML file that you're gonna see so if you delete this let me delete this if you delete this so deleting file I guess completed so yes now I have deleted it let me let me see what this does refresh it so it says you don't have permission to view this directory or page because you have already deleted that page now what we are gonna do is just upload the files so these are the files now I'm going to drag and drop these files into the www root directory so yes you can see the files are uploaded according to your internet connection that is this is gonna take some time so guys please be patient also it takes that how is the size of your how much is the size of your HTML files or the you know website that you created so yes for me it is gonna take some minute I'll be back soon when upload is completed so yes the upload has been completed now let's go to the site that we created let's refresh this so yes this is it that I created using HTML5 up.net so yes a short tutorial on how to install sorry how to upload files self-made HTML files into Windows issue if you like this video press on the like button if you don't vote it down share this with your friends if you have any queries just let me know in the comment section Subscribe for more upcoming videos. You guys have a great day and take care.